Hey everybody, I want you all to start having more silent celebrations. What is a silent celebration? A silent celebration is when you keep a win to yourself. And I understand because I am this way as well. When God does something for us, when we get a breakthrough, um, when we get a particular win in our life, we are so excited about it. We want to share it with other people. And we like to share it with other people. There are a couple of groups of people who will like to share wins. There is the first group of people who like to share a win strictly for bragging rights. There are, unfortunately, a lot of people, their intent with sharing certain celebrations and wins and things that they acquire through their hard work or just the spirit of the living God, he opened up heaven over their life. They want to share it to prove a point to people. They want to share it to feel superior. They want to prove to all the people who said they would never be anything or they would never amount to anything or people counted them out. And I get it. I understand because I am a human being as well. So I understand when someone wants to share a win because when people put their mouth on you and when they say that they don't see hope for you, when people speak against you or when people say that you don't deserve something because either inwardly or outwardly people will actually feel like you do not deserve to get the blessings that you have either because they're offended by you because you bumped heads with them at some point or because they know your character this is a real thing people will know your actual character you can be a saved man or woman of God you can be unsaved but a great person however when it comes to certain things your character is um not great you know you may not be a trustworthy person you may not be a honest person you may not be a reliable person and so people will judge your blessings and your wins off that fact alone not understanding that the grace the mercy of God and the blessings that God bestows is up to him, not up to them. It's strictly up to God and God will bless people who do not have a great character. They don't have a perfect track record. This is why God is worthy to be praised. So in that first group, there are certain people who they want to brag because they want to show people, hey, listen, all these foul things you think about me, all these negative things you think about me, these negative things you say about me, your word curses, you saw me at my worst, but look at me now. Look at me now. I got money now. I got a nice car now. I don't have that raggedy car anymore. I got my own place to stay. I got a great job. You know, I was able to get some work done because my teeth was messed up or I had horrible skin you know real talk different things start happening for different people but then the second group of people they want to and I fall in this group and many of you do I like to just like a lot of you we like to share our wins because we believe in our heart that people will be happy for us because they have been seeing the attacks launched on our life they've seen them they've seen us in the trenches they've seen us in the mud and the dirt they've seen us in the dirt and the dust and the smoke and gravel and so they know your story they saw you at your worst times when you had nothing they saw you crying they saw you go through a horrible divorce they saw you experience uh racism or un justifiable and unfair treatment in the church at your job they saw you be really sick and you get healed from your spirit of infirmity they see certain relationships being reconciled to you now when you hated your mother you get along with your mother 
you all have said you're sorry to each other. You hated your father. Now you all have reconciled to each other and you love your father. You're hanging out. You're going to uh, the bowling alley. You're playing spades. You're playing pool. You uh, barbecue together. Things that you never did. People will see where you and your father were at odds with each other. Now you are coming together. A lot of you all, you are um, reconciling your marriage. You know, people saw your marriage in its worst state. They saw you and your spouse cheating on each other, or they know one spouse was cheating. Outside kids may have been produced. You all may have had domestic violence situations. Maybe your spouse dealt with alcohol or drugs. Maybe they were in and out of jail. And so now God has done a number on your marriage. He has softened your heart. He has taken your heart of stone and softened it and now you've opened up to receive your spouse again and you all love each other and so people will see that and um you will desire to tell people that because they saw all the bad things happen to you they saw you take all the losses but guys listen the reality is this as i always say whether you are sharing wins to brag and show off and prove to the naysayers that now you have something or whether you in good heart and with pure intentions you want to share your wins because you really believe that people who know you will be so happy for you and they would cry with you tears of joy and they would thank and praise God and see that God is real the unfortunate thing about it is that a lot of people are not going to be happy for you when you start winning in this life. Why? I know you all want to know why. Um, people are not always happy because they may be at the same place that they've always been. And they may actually have a better character than you. They may have a cleaner track record than you. They may have actually done more than you to get certain things that they have gotten. And so they may feel like, well, he or she has not put the time and the work and the blood, sweat, and tears into what they have like I did. You all have to understand that people are constantly comparing your life to theirs, your ways to theirs, your mindset to theirs, your wins to theirs. They are always comparing that. People will compare your anointing to theirs because you may get a win Well, now you're on fire for God. You're not hot or cold. You know, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. You are not cold, but now you're hot. I said that all wrong at first, but you guys get the drift. But now you're on fire for God. You may have been a former gang member or a drug dealer. You may have been involved in so many complicit things, but now you are on fire for God. You are joyful about the Lord. You go into church every Sunday. You may have come back from never, ever being in the house of God, and now you're going to church. You've joined an auxiliary. You are serious about God. You are going to spread in the good news to everybody. You may even be trying to inspire certain friends and family members to convert. And so people see these certain wins and you really don't know sometimes who is jealous. You don't really know sometimes who really is sincerely happy for you. But all I'm telling you all in this video message is that you are going to have to have more silent celebrations. How do you have a silent celebration? Because I've talked to you all about this uh, numerous videos ago, but here and there I mention it again. A silent celebration is when you see the blessing, you see the opportunity, you see the win and you know about it, but you keep it to yourself. You keep it between you and God. You sit wherever you are and you are joyful on the inside it's just between you and God you may cry your tears in silence whether you're at home and you sit down with a cup of coffee or a cup of hot tea and you just start praising God or you put on your worship music you may pull over go to the lakefront go to the uh, um, forest preserve if you have one wherever you are 
because I know a lot of you are you are all over but wherever the local park is you just pull your vehicle over and you sit there and celebrate you may want to go and get your favorite meal and you eat it and you sit there and you think about how far God has brought you and how all the tears you've cried and all the things people have said and all the horrible things they've thought about you they don't even matter now because heaven is open over you and God has done a mighty work in your life. He has given you a reset. He has given you a second chance. He has given you a brand new beginning. That is a silent celebration. You don't have to text anybody. You don't have to call anybody. You don't have to post on Facebook. You don't have to post on uh, Instagram or TikTok. You don't have to say anything on YouTube. Now, don't get me wrong, people. There are certain things you can announce. After it's manifested, if you know that it's going to edify the body of Christ and encourage some people, yes, by all means, because there's something that I'm going to share with you guys. And I know that it would encourage so many of you guys of all different ages. But um, particular things, I just feel like particular things, you should just silently celebrate them. Maybe right now it's a little bit too soon for some of you all to talk about how God has reconciled you to your spouse. Maybe it's a little bit too soon for some of you all to talk about that new home you just closed on or the new apartment or condo you have. Maybe it's a little bit too soon to talk about the full healing you have received in your body or spiritually, you know, or emotionally. Maybe it's a little bit too soon to tell people what you're doing in ministry. Sometimes you have to let things um, sit for a while and you have to let them marinate. You have to let them marinate and sometimes you have to allow people to find out about your wins later, later down the line where you've already had that blessing for a long time. You ever uh, talk to somebody and they got a win on something and you was the last one to know? It wasn't because you're a bad person and you're not happy or you're jealous spirited, but some of you all, you just got the news late. You found out that a friend of yours or a family member, you found out that, oh, they're back with so-and-so. Oh, I didn't know that. And if you ask, <clears throat> I'm sorry, if you ask them, like, how long have you guys been together? They may say, oh, we've been together for a year. You might be blown away like, oh my God, sis, oh my God, bro, I didn't even know you guys were back together. And then they explain to you, yeah, we didn't want to announce it to a lot of people. That type of silent celebration, where if you do tell, you wait a long time before you tell people. And some silent celebrations, you never tell anybody. They will see it. They will see it. For some of you all, I am here to tell you by the unction of the spirit, there are going to be people, they just see the blessing. You don't have to announce it. You don't have to post about it. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to brag about it. You don't have to prove anything to anybody. You don't have to go and tell somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that used to talk about you what your win was. Some celebrations, they have to be kept under wraps. And you just, like I said, silently celebrate it in the comfort of your home or in the comfort of your car after work or when you get out of school or before bedtime, you give out a good, joyful cry. You praise, you lift up your hands, you start praising and worshiping the Lord because of what he has done for you. That's the best celebration, y'all. I'm going to just be real. That is like the best celebration when you can... Sorry, excuse me. When you can just silently celebrate and you just cry and you praise God, make yourself a good meal, order you a good meal. Some of y'all, you might like your steak and your little baked potato. You go, treat yourself. You can have so many quiet or silent celebrations and I know some of you all you feel like you want to explode you literally will feel in your body like you want to explode like you can't barely breathe when you are so excited for what God has done in your life and you want to tell people so bad but you know what you all have got to learn that self-control 
You learn on this walk. You learn when to speak. You learn when to be silent. You learn as a man or woman when to apologize. You learn when to hold your peace without just lashing out at people. You learn when to, um, you know, take it easy on certain people because you understand that there's something deeper rooted that they have not gotten delivered from. You learn, you learn. The Holy Spirit helps you to examine. The Holy Spirit teaches you self-control and how to be peaceful. The Holy Spirit also will guide you and lead you when it's time to fight and be a warrior. I'm here to tell you I live it every day of my life. But I'm going to tell you the Holy Spirit also teaches you how to have a silent celebration. When you all view this video message, I want you to put in the comments, hashtag silent celebrations, quiet celebrations. Go and buy yourself a gift. Go buy yourself a gift for a win in your life. You might want to buy yourself a little diamond bracelet or a nice little ring. And just dedicate it to the Lord and say, God, you know what? I know you don't care about this, but Lord, you are faithful. And I got this little ring for myself um, because you restored my finances. It's not about me showing out, but it's just a standard that I've placed over my life because of what you've done for me. And every time I look at this ring, I can say, you know what, God? For so many years of my life, I was broke. I couldn't even afford a $50 ring. But now, Lord, you've restored my finances. And I was able to spend $800 on this little ring or $1,000 on this ring. See, it's going to look different for each one of you. It's nothing for anybody to say, oh, well, I wouldn't do that. And that's dumb. And, hey, listen, 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 listen. When somebody gets a particular blessing, and for those of you that get a particular blessing, one thing you need to understand, you don't have to explain how you deal with your blessing to anyone. As long as you are not fumbling the blessing, as long as you are a good steward over your blessing, however it looks for you, however you choose to silently celebrate, that is your business. That is between you and God. That's why it's silent. But like I said, for some of you all, people will see the blessing. They will see how you talk differently. They will see how you walk differently. When you share your thoughts on things, they will see that your way of thinking is totally different than how it used to be. They may see you driving in the neighborhood in your new vehicle. They may get wind that you have a new home. They may see your glow up in a different way. But everything is not to be talked about. Everything is not to be shared, people of God. Everything is not for you to go and announce. Now, if you feel led to testify, because you can testify and say, guys, listen, I want to share with you all to uplift you. I'm only sharing this particular thing with you so I can let you know and prove to you through me that God is real. And you share, you insert whatever that blessing is. Because sometimes God will lead you. He will lead you to talk about certain things. Because he does want people to know about who he is and what he does. God wants you to know what he really is capable of. He, he wants you to definitely know that. That's not a secret. But certain things, guys, it's a silent celebration. Some of you all, you're going to have silent celebrations on huge wins and some of you all will have silent and quiet celebrations on small wins just little small wins here and there so i want you all to really really think about that think about that because sometimes you will be brought down in your energy and your spirit and joy when you share a win to certain people and when they become immediately negative. Oh, you only got that house because of blah, blah, blah. And you, I don't even see how you got that. You don't even work. Uh-huh. Or you don't even work as hard as I do. How you get that? 
girl you lying you ain't did nothing don't even put god name on that you lied you probably stole that you probably know somebody in that department that's how you get that position girl y'all gonna end up breaking up again because i know y'all i know how your husband is i know how your wife is bro why would you even get back with her? God ain't told you to get back with him. God ain't told you to get back with her. The devil told you that. Y'all know how people out here talk. You know how they talk. You know the lingo. You know the verbiage. You 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 know. You know. Y'all know how people talk. Soon as you share something, they will rain on your parade. And you came in with this bright shiny smile on your face you were glowing you were jumping and dancing and singing and the minute you released that wind and you started hearing all those negative things your smile went to a frown you may have even started crying i know i am not the only one in this lifetime that has experienced that at one point or another I truly believe everybody has experienced that. This is how you learn. It's nothing for anybody to be ashamed about. It's just a learning experience. You learn. And some of you all, you've done it four or five times. And your parade got rained on four or five times. So now you know. Now you know. I was just thinking one day. And I said I wanted to tell something. This was sometime last year. And I really, really was excited to tell a few family members about something. But it was just in my spirit. Be silent. Be silent. Don't talk about that. That's where I came up with the silent celebration. It was just like, no, be quiet. Keep it to yourself. Keep it to you to yourself. That ain't that ain't for everybody. And I said, wow. So I need to be silent about this. But I wanted other people to share and celebrate what just happened for me. But I'm going to have to have a silent celebration. That is where that was developed from. Just the Holy Spirit dealing with me, telling me to be silent about a particular thing. So I am just here to share that with you all. And that is the video message. Well, guys, it's time for me to go because I have some other things to do. The Lord willing, I will be back with another video message. If any one of you have taken offense to this video message and anything I spoke about, it's okay. It's all right. I'm not worried about it. I am not concerned because I know you will forgive me in the morning.